sing glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Even returning home to Bethlehem, there could not have been much peace in Naomi and Ruth's hearts. They were childless, they were widows, and not to mention they were hungry. The only peace that they had was the faith that God would deliver them, but that was enough. At the beginning of chapter 2, Naomi and Ruth had not been helped yet. So to avoid starving, Ruth had to go to a field to get the leftovers from the harvest from the workers that were working there. The field that she went to happened to be owned by Boaz, who was related to Naomi's late husband. This was purely a work of God. Ruth didn't know Boaz, and there was a lot of fields that she could have gone to. But after she was gathering barley for a while, Boaz found out who she was. He came to her and showed her great kindness. He told her to stay close to the other women, to stay in the field to glean, and to drink the worker's water when she was thirsty. Just a reminder, Boaz knew that Ruth couldn't offer him anything. She wasn't even working for him. She was just gathering food for her and Naomi. It was clear that he didn't have to offer her this kindness. So Ruth essentially broke down at this point, and she just humbly asked him, like, what did I do to deserve this treatment? And he told her that, that he knew that she'd come from her home to live among these foreign people. And he said to her in verse 12, The Lord repay you for what you've done, and a full reward be given you by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. What an incredible peace that Ruth must have felt in this moment. A wealthy, godly Israelite man had provided for her needs, both spiritual and physical. And Ruth had taken refuge under the wings of the Lord. This must have been such a confirmation to her that she was in the right when she left behind her Moabite gods to put her faith in Yahweh. She had peace that she was protected and that the Lord was providing for her. And at the end of the chapter in verse 20, we can already see that Naomi's coming to know that the Lord is working for her good. She says, may he be blessed by the Lord whose kindness has not forsaken the living or the dead. This is the same woman who a chapter before had described herself as empty and bitter. She knows that the Lord is at work and has not forsaken her or Ruth. The Lord, their greater protector and provider, was giving them peace.